Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a video on how to get this look. Um, if you don't know by the title, this is my everyday foundation routine. Um, I know a lot of my previous videos, I fast forward how to do my foundation. So I take you step by step on how I do my foundation routine. And this is just my basic everyday foundation routine. Nothing too much or too little that I don't think anybody out there can do. Um, if you want to see a highlighting and contour video, I definitely have a different routine for that, especially when I go out. It's a lot more glamorous than this. I know this seems like a lot for every day, but this is necessary. So I hope that you all enjoy it. If you're not part of my family already, please hit that subscribe button be down below and join the family, get updates on all my new videos. I know it's been a long time since the last video. I say this all the time, but I made it apparent today to sit down and film this video for you guys. Hope you like it and just stay tuned if you want to see my foundation routine. Okay, let's jump right into the video. Um, starting off by putting my hair back, get out of my face. Eyebrows already done. Going with some Smash Smashbox primer water all over my face let it dry and then while that's happening put some Too Faced lip injection and then I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand let it warm up and then I'm gonna dot it all over my face I speed through this because it doesn't really take any technique I just split it up then I'm taking my Morphe 439 buffing brush and I'm buffing that foundation into my face. Notice that I'm using circular motions and I'm not just striking it down. Um, and you want to take it all the way down to your neck so you don't have any lines. And then again, buffing it in in circular motions. And then I just go on with some more foundation around the places where foundation wears off for me the fastest, which is usually around my mouth. And I felt like I need a little bit more coverage on my forehead. So that's why I went in with some more um, foundation. And then again, buffing it out my face. And now the base is completed and I have a couple concealers I like to go in with but I'm just taking the Sephora Bright Gel Concealer first just to conceal and then I'm going to go in with the MAC for Longwear Concealer to highlight and nothing too much because it's going to be in C35. Um, if I was going in to really highlight I would use my MAC Prep and Prime highlighter or I would use a really light concealer. And then I'm taking my damp beauty blender to buff that in. Please make sure your beauty blender is always damp. And I like to dry mine off with a paper towel just for sanitary reasonings. Um, just don't use your beauty blender dry because um, it's not going to work. <laughs> hate to break it to you, but it is not going to work. So just make sure it's damp and clean. And now I'm going in with the prolonged wear concealer. I just like to dot that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, in the middle of my forehead, and on my chin. Basically highlighting all the places that the light naturally hits. I was going to say the sun. And there's hair all over my face, so I'm just trying to... Oh, why am I making this face? It looks so crazy, but... Things you gotta do for beauty, you know? Yeah, it was just so annoying. All my hair was everywhere. <sighs> I 
as you can see from my face, I am very annoyed. It's just, I don't know, it was one of those mornings. feeling myself <laughs> but I'm going in with my cover FX click stick in the shade 110 this is not really like a highlighting shade it's more like a bronzing shade because it's not even cool tone but I just use it to bring like some color back into my skin after I highlight and I really like it I just started using this um I think I purchased it like a week ago and I've been using it in my everyday routine I like it because it's a stick so it's easy to manage it's not like I have to take a cream out and I'm using my real technique stippling brush to buff that in just make it a little bit easier for me to work with um, the formula is really creamy so it's not that hard to blend out I just think I apply too much now that I'm watching this I like filming sometimes because I realize like the stuff that I make mistakes on and stuff like that and I can always go back and fix it and it helps me get a glimpse at like my everyday makeup because you know everybody tell you makeup look good but they don't really you don't know they don't want to insult you so definitely like filming for that reasoning and then once I'm done buffing that in with the brush I will go in with my beauty blender to further blend it in and you see right here I'm blending the highlight and I guess you can say the contour together because this is where you would naturally contour um if you do want me to film a highlighting and contour routine just let me know in the description box below because I do have a different highlighting contour routine for like when I go out versus my everyday foundation routine then I'm taking my Sasha buttercup powder which is a black girl's best friend let me tell you right now it's just it's great and i'm patting it all underneath my under eye i put a little bit more underneath my under eye than the other areas on my face just because i don't want any creasing and i just want to stay matte throughout the whole day so and that is why and then i put some extra powder around the parts where foundation wears off the most and then I fast forward through this part because it's just really me just pressing it in. It doesn't take any technique like anybody could do this. So I just didn't want to bore you guys because I feel like this is going to be a long video. But I guess it's not that long. And then I'm taking my MAC Steel Fix Powder. And I think it's NW45 or 42. I don't really know. I'll link it in the description box down below. But... I'm setting the rest of my face and just bringing the warmth back into my face. Um, I think that's where you can fix any foundation that's ever too light. Just use a face powder that's your exact shade and then, you know, it'll blend all together. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. Then I'm taking my um, CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. And this is just the only bronzer I found that works for me. I don't even have a high-end bronzer because there's just not any. I know there's the Guerlain bronzer, but for some reason I can't find my shade. And I'd rather not buy a shade that's not my shade. And this one works because it's not too orange, so I appreciate it. You gotta work with what you got, so that is what I am doing. Then I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder. I'm supposed to add more to the end. And I am cutting underneath my contour slash bronzer just to make it a little bit more sharper and plus it was looking really sloppy so I want to make that really sharp I'm waiting for it for a couple minutes and I'm taking my E2 Morphe brush and using whatever powder I had left off from my face powder on a brush just to brush away the excess powder then I'm taking my hot blush blush from Sephora I really like his orange tone, so it's a good everyday blush. 
of my favorites. I love it so much. And my favorite part, highlighting. I'm thinking the Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey. Yes, girl, just add some more. You could never add too much highlight. If you think it's enough, always add more. Mm-hmm, down the nose. Yes, girl, we see it. Mm -hmm. Keep it slow. Basically anywhere you highlight it, and then I'm gonna spray my face with Fix Plus because you don't want that powdery look. Then I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, spraying that on top. It is so dirty, I know. Mm. But it just locks the foundation in for all day, so we'll let it dry. Be right back. So I am back. The only thing that I did differently that I didn't do on camera is my eyeline eyebrows and I put some lip gloss on. Uh, the lip gloss shade that I used was the NYX um, lip gloss and Madeline super cute baby pink lip gloss. Love it for every day. Um, if I don't wear that, I usually wear my Marc Jacobs lip gloss and pretty thin on my Chai Smashbox lip glosses. If you want to see uh, any of my favorite nude lip glosses or lipsticks for darker skin tones, please let me know in the description description box below and i'll be happy to do it for you guys that is it for this video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe love you guys